Hi, we're Jen and Stevo, American digital nomads since 2018. We spent a month living in the amazing Plovdiv, Bulgaria. This video is part two of our adventures in this historic city. You can watch part one first, but this video will still make sense even if you didn't. Anyway, on with the show. Good morning. Good morning. We just went and grabbed breakfast at a little bakery close to our house. And now we're gonna walk toward the old town. The first place we're heading is an ancient pharmacy. It was- Ancient pharmacy? I guess so. Oh, wow. I don't know. I don't know that much about it, but I've heard it's very cool. So it seems worth checking out. This old town area is just full of treasures. So many cool houses around every corner. We just came to this little park that we've been to before up here in the old town to eat our breakfast. Thing one, sugar bread. <laughs> What's inside of it? Oh. oh, hello. Oh my goodness. Like an apple jam. And thing number two is this pumpkin. I need your help to hold it. Oh my God. It's <laughs> huge. Oh wow. <laughs> is this pumpkin Benita? Holy <laughs> That is a humongous. We're gonna enjoy our food. Oh my gosh, and there's a kitty cat. <gasps> It literally just popped up out of nowhere. Hi, come here and we'll feed you. <laughs> hey, little baby. You want to have some? I don't know if that's... Yeah, you're into it. All right, we're going to sit here and enjoy our breakfast with the kitty cat. Oh, thank you. Rufus the Doofus. That's you. Breakfast eaten and kitty cat friend made. It is time to go learn about pharmacy. Are you coming with us to the pharmacy? We only have two tickets. We'll buy you a ticket. You're worth it. Wow, what a pharmacy museum. The woman working there explained a lot of things to us. Her English was perfect. It's so nice that people here speak such good English to explain things to us non-Bulgarian speakers. Yeah, we don't. The woman working there told us that they had sourced a lot of these original pieces of surgical equipment and doctor stuff from all over Bulgaria from the 18th and 19th century. There were some interesting explanations of how they would treat people using poison, using lots of herbs and um, natural things, obviously. Spices. I mean, I think I literally saw a jar that said cinnamon in there. Yum. <laughs> All we could keep thinking is I'm so glad we're alive today and not 100 or 200 years ago. That would have been very scary. But what a fascinating place to see what medicine was like. Um, the house that the museum is in is an old doctor's house. It doesn't take very long to go through it. I think we were in there all of 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, it's pretty small. There's only a few rooms, but they're all very ornate in the mm. same way that the whole of all the house museums are here in the old town. Speaking of old houses here in the old town, we're going to head to one of the other house museums here because we've heard that this one is extremely ornate and well done and well preserved. Here's your problem. You got a hole instead of a wall. <laughs> Do you want pumpkin bread? Hindlian House is one of the many house museums in Plovdiv's Old Town. The house museums are 18th century aristocrats' homes that show off Bulgaria's national revival architecture, with features like upper floors that are wider than the bottom floor, lots and lots of windows, painted on pillars, and audacious interior design. We were excited to see the interior of this house museum, built in 1835 for the wealthy trader Stepan Hindlian, but some things are just not meant to be. Two bits. It says they should be open. It's like 10 o'clock right now and they opened it. They're supposed to open at nine. Might be out of luck. There's another house that we heard was cool, so we can try that one. We're, we're just chatting and walking and we think we're gonna head to the Ethnographic Museum because it should be open today. We've heard really good things. Woohoo, it looks open. Cost six left to get into here. Which is like three US dollars per person. Definitely a highlight of our time here in Plug Deep. It's always very cool to go to the ethnographic museum and see traditional dress and see how folks lived in this part of the world mm -hmm. for the past couple thousand years. Yeah, and the different craftsmen and all the types of materials they used and just see what life was like through the exhibits in there. And this museum is very much specifically dedicated to Plovdiv. And there is stuff about all around Bulgaria, but a lot of it's very specific to this region. The Ethnographic Museum was first built as a home in 1847 by a very wealthy fabric merchant. And he sold fabrics all around Europe as well as 
all the way to India. The house was built in just one year. There are huge grand rooms in the downstairs and upstairs. The merchant and his family ended up moving to Vienna and so they sold the home and it changed hands many times. And then in the 1930s, it was owned by a tobacco farmer who wanted to tear it down and use the land to build warehouses. Luckily, he didn't pay his taxes. And so the house went to auction and the mayor of the city bought it and turned it into a museum. And it's been a museum ever since then. So don't pay your taxes <laughs> if you want your house to be a museum. <laughs> Lesson learned. So now I gotta go home and get some work done, but Jen's gonna go on a solo adventure. Here, Strombolian House was very different from the other ones. The look of the house itself was very similar. The structure of the house, the layout, the design still had a lot of ornate ceilings, beautiful rugs, things like that. But this home was completely dedicated to art and an artist named Dekiro used to live there. So the entire home has been turned into an art gallery. All these homes are are different and I would recommend going into as many of them as you can. It's really worthwhile. It doesn't take long to go through each one, but it's just incredible to take a peek into that history. The old town is good for just endless walking around and exploring. It's so beautiful here. There's so many interesting homes to see. It's not too hard to get around. It's not too big of a place, but it's just all these winding cobblestone streets. Right now, I'm going to take you back into the newer part of Plovdiv for a bit because I want to show you a shop that Steve and I have been going to. Wow. That was my best haul yet at Humana, so y'all gave me good luck. Thank you. <laughs> so when I get home, I'll show you my haul and it'll be fun. We got these boots. They look pretty much brand new. Cardigan sweater from H&M. Fun little plaid skirt. Another little black sweater shirt moment. Two pairs of jeans that both fit great. All together for everything, I paid 54 leva, which is like $27. So you can see why I love that shop. We just finished up a few hours of work here at the house. Um, we're gonna head back outside to go on a little hike in town. Plovdiv is built on top of seven hills and one of the hills has a massive statue that you can see from like everywhere in town. So we're back where we started yesterday by the center of town. Now we're gonna walk through Sar Simeon Garden. This is our favorite park in the city. We walk through here all the time. They're not singing at the moment. Yeah. On Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 9 p.m., singing fountain sing. It's a hell of a show for free. That's where we're going. Oh, hello. There you are. It's so big. Whenever you can in any city, try to go up and get sleeping views. It's always worth it. Wherever you go, get high. <laughs> you heard it here first. We made it. Well, it's worth the climb. Look at these views. Definitely worth the climb up. It's not that strenuous and it's mostly stairs. Um, so would recommend. So glad we finally did that. And now we are going to go to the greatest restaurant in Bulgaria, nay, the world. <laughs> it just might be. Oh my god, it is completely full. I hope we can get in. This has happened before. It is 5.30 on a Tuesday evening, and we have to wait 10 to 15 minutes to get in. Happy is the most popular restaurant in Bulgaria. There is never not a wait. Get excited to see this menu. It is huge. Oh, I'm so hungry. That dinner was so good. Man, I'm so happy right now. When you come to Bulgaria, make sure you eat at one of the happies in Sofia or here in Plovdiv or whatever location. We really hope you had fun coming around Plovdiv with us. We've loved living in this city for the last month. 
and uh, it's definitely worth at least a few days of your time, if not more. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and like and subscribe. It really helps our channel grow. And now, check out this video. Ooh. Ooh. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.